What's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I want to do something that I've been wanting to do for a while, and that is go over my weekly spending habits. Now I'm doing it a little bit differently than what the trend was. I know this is kind of past and not a lot of people are really doing it anymore, but um, I'm just hopping on the train now, I guess. <laughs> but I'm going to do it on the monthly basis. So the month of August is pretty much over. Um, once this video comes out, it will be over. But um, that's pretty much my spending. I'm pretty sure I won't be spending anything tomorrow or anything or today. Um, so you'll be able to see my spending from August 1st until basically the end of August. Um, I think that's a little more interesting for me than just one week, just because um, I don't think I spend a lot in a week, but maybe you'll find that's incorrect. Um, and we'll also go over some of my poor spending habits that I'm trying to kick. And so far I've been unsuccessful at doing so. <laughs> but um, we'll get right into it. And if you wouldn't mind leaving a like, leaving a comment, subscribing, greatly appreciate all three. And we'll get right into it. Okay guys, so we'll hop right into it now. The monthly spending in the life of Andrew Rogers. Now there are two areas that I spend money on where it's um, cash based, so you won't see it on these statements, and one that goes through my debit card. Um, the only reason that I'm making one purchase on my debit card, which I'm usually 100% against, is that they have a 10% back offer on Spotify. So I do run my Spotify subscription through my bank and I get 10% um, back on that, um, which is $10. And then um, I usually do get two haircuts a month, sometimes less, um, occasionally more, but usually erring on the less side. Um, and those run with tip about $21 each, so we'll just assume two. Um, so that's $42. And then I do live uh, with my parents and I play, pay quite a reduced amount of rent, which is definitely helpful. Um, and on that, it is $300. So we'll add that in. And so those are all cash purchases. Cash cash purchases. <laughs> um, and then just hopping into my first uh, credit card. Um, I spend on three different cards, Capital One Quicksilver, Discover um, It, and a Capital One Walmart Rewards card. And I kind of divide my spending up accordingly. Um, on the Discover, I spend whatever the 5% rotating category it is on. The Walmart one, I'll, I'll spend on um, obviously Walmart grocery pickup, walmart.com, anything I'm buying in the store, things like that. Um, so just to go over the first one, the Capital One Quicksilver. Um, <laughs> this is my issue that I was talking about. As you can see right off the bat, I go to McDonald's a lot. Um, it's just really convenient and it seems cheap until you start to add them all up. But, um, you know, when I'm having a down day or something or I'm feeling really sluggish, like a McDonald's iced coffee, for instance, is only a dollar. Um, and I have 100% overdone it recently. Um, it used to be like one or two times a month max. Now I'm going twice, three times a week, and it is really bad. Um, there is no reason to be doing it, to be honest. Um, this Tim Hortons expenditure here, this is something that I did have reimbursed, just to be clear. Um, on my one, one of my earlier videos, I did a field agent review. Uh, that's one of those. That's where I get paid to review a product, and then they reimburse me for the charge. So that's basically not there. Um, so if we just start from here, with the McDonald's. So that adds on 326. And then we have my Delta Sonic car wash. Um, this is a monthly subscription I do for car washing, and it does end up saving you money. It's kind of necessary for where I live in Buffalo. Um, you really have to get the ice and um, salt off your car, or else it really corrodes your car pretty quickly. The weather is pretty brutal here. In the summer, it's not so much necessary, but it's just an annoyance to cancel and restart, um, and it does lock in your price. Um, so that's that charge. And then... Um, <laughs> Again, I have McDonald's. Um, as I've said before, that is an issue. I'm, it's kind of an addiction in a way. I, not to make light of addictions, but um, I'm, I'm really struggling to kick it. Um, then you see it again, $1.62. And these are all within a span of a few days of each other, so not the best. Um, and then we have a GoFundMe charge here. It's just a friend. Um, they found a stray cat and they needed money for the hospital charges. Um, so that's that, and uh, that was ten bucks. 
and then um, Delta Sonic Car Wash. This is not the subscription. This is just gas for my car. Um, I do get an extra five cents off a gallon when I get my gas here um, with that membership. So that's kind of helpful, I guess. And that's eighteen dollars and fourteen cents. And then yeah, <laughs> a lot of McDonald's. Um, Three eighty. Add that in. A dollar sixty-two. Oops. Oops. And a dollar oh eight. So as you can see, the McDonald's is quickly creeping up. Um, I, that's at least ten dollars at this point, I think, right? Yeah, at least ten bucks. Um, and then the Spark Shop. This is a um, basically the Walmart. Um, I work at Walmart. If that wasn't obvious already. <laughs> That's their like employee store basically. I just bought some pins and stuff just for fun. Um, totally unnecessary purchase, but I did it. And that was twelve dollars and sixteen cents. I also bought a gift for my boss included in that. And then um, two eighteen, just another McDonald's foray because I'm addicted. Uh, eight seventy six hmm, or eight seventy four rather. Oh, I know what this is actually. Okay, I forgot to include this earlier. I did get my car detailed. I split it um, between cash and card just because I don't want to, them to have to use change because I know there's a change shortage right now. Um, so that was eight seventy four, and then plus a hundred dollars in cash. And then um, Tops Friendly Markets, three dollars. What did I buy there? I usually am pretty good about knowing where I spent my money. But I'm really struggling to remember what I spent three dollars on at Tops. We'll add it in. I'm honestly not sure if I remember by the end of video, I'll include it. Um, and then uh, Levi's eleven forty nine, another unnecessary purchase. I saw a ad for two pairs of Levi's underwear for well eleven forty nine. That's including tax, obviously, um, which I thought was a pretty good price for good underwear. Um, that's something I also kind of spend too much money on is underwear and socks. Um, just because I th feel like you go through them a lot quicker than regular clothes. And I try to replace them at a good price. But that can also come at an unnecessary cost. Then, what do you know? Another charge for McDonald's, $1.62. Add that on. Um, that is another charge for gas at Delta Sonic. Then, Walmart. Not sure why I spent this on the card, on this card instead of my Walmart card, but it was probably like whew, 83 cents. I don't even know what's that cheap there. <laughs> Maybe it like. I'm honestly not even sure what 83 cents would be. A drink, possibly? But um, we'll add that in. And then, yeah, hey, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm just using my card. I don't know what these charges are. I doubt that, but. Um, and then another charge for McDonald's. It is pretty awful, gotta admit. Wegmans, this was another charge I was reimbursed for. I got paid uh, to review a type of apple. I think it was, nope, can't remember the name of the apple, but I got paid $3 plus reimbursed that $3.79 for the apples. Um, so that, well, no, I shouldn't add that in actually. And then Hulu, I pay $1.99 a month, which is a lot less than most people. Um, so Hulu ran a promotion in um, Black Friday, and I just canceled my existing Hulu account and signed up for a new one. It was $1.99 a month for 12 months for new users. And so I thought, why not? I was paying like, I think $6 a month. Um, so it was like $4 a month savings for very little effort. Um, so it was kind of a, a why not situation. And then we'll head over to, I guess, Discover and Exit log me off. So, oops. Log back in here real quick. Okay. So I do a lot less spending on my Discover card, um, but they do give me a much higher limit, so I do try to spread it a bit onto here. Um, so this was a huge charge, a dollar, hundred ninety-seven dollars. Um, this was for Graham Stephan's YouTube uh, course, I guess, 
and I did actually find it to be pretty useful. I think I was able to improve a lot. Do I think it was worth $197? I don't think so. I think it was maybe worth $100. I think that'd be more reasonable, um, but I can't knock him for um, trying to get value out of that. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> it, it was useful. Uh, I don't necessarily regret it, regret it, but I think it was too much for what I got. And then uh, McDonald's, uh, 282 and yeah, not proud of it. Um, La Divina Dos, I just bought tacos for my family. Really great, great place, by the way. Um, that was twenty nine thirty two. That was like six or seven tacos, but actually a pretty good deal. And then that's just payments and um, rewards redemptions. And then another charge for McDonald's. Um, you'd think they know my name by now, and I, they probably do. And then Kind Master, this is a, um, it's basically a, a video editing app for your phone. That's what I use for YouTube. It's just really easy to use. And um, that's $4.34. They actually brought their price down. It was like six bucks or something. And then they randomly decided to make it cheaper. I don't really know what the motivation was behind that, but um, it's a little cheaper now. And then yet again, another charge at McDonald's. That is my final charge at McDonald's for right now. Who knows if I'll be tempted to spend there again? Probably. I wish I would say no. I'm really trying to break the habit. It's just stupid, but um, it is something that I do do. <laughs> and then um, if we go here. So these are basically all um, grocery purchases. Um, I buy my food pretty much 100% at Walmart, unless there's like a weird savings. I used to buy some at Aldi. Um, but it's just kind of annoying with the whole virus situation um, to go wait in another line when I can just do grocery pickup, and that's what I do here. Um, this is pretty much all grocery charges, so I don't know if it warrants a lot of explanation. Um, I do um, do a few other charges here and there, um, like uh, this microphone I'm using I bought at Walmart.com, but I did pay for it with my rewards points. The rewards on Walmart. Uh, credit card are really great in my opinion that five percent back on everything really adds up quick because it's both on walmart grocery pickup walmart.com and for your first 12 months of usage if you use walmart pay it's also valid in store um, so that does help a lot to bring down the sort of cost of groceries and um let me just add all this up here 29 then some of these little charges you see here, um, those are just me adding on to my lunches for the day. Sometimes I'll, <laughs> I, I sound like a really unhealthy person here going to um, McDonald's and then saying stuff like this. And I guess I kind of am, but it makes me sound worse. Um, but <laughs> that's like, um, I think it was like a corn dog or something uh, from Walmart. It sounds gross, but they're actually really good. And, um, yeah, there's a lot of little purchases. I, some of these as well are things that I buy for other people who just know that I'm there and then they just pay me back. Um, so that happens too. Um, but yeah, that's the majority of my purchases. We'll just add up all what's remaining here. And wow, I did not expect it to be this high. And one other one here. So 18. That wasn't it. It hasn't gone through yet, but it's still August. So holy crap! I 100% was not expecting that I spend that much in a in a month. That's insane to me. I I don't know. I thought I was really conservative with spending. Um, obviously, this does include some charges that are inescapable. Um, obviously, like paying rent, and I do pay way less than most people. Also, the Graham Stephan thing that's a lot less than most people and together that's 500 bucks so um 500 bucks and then if you were to get out you know me spending money at uh, mcdonald's all the time um that'd be like 20 bucks maybe i think so about 20 bucks so all said and done if you were to remove the um the one-time expenditures i spend like 480 dollars a month on food this is a little bit of clothing, um, gas obviously, car washes, uh, subscriptions, 
and yeah, that's about it. Um, so I, w I, don't, I don't know. I thought it would honestly be better than this considering my reduced rent, but I guess it's not the worst. I'm, I'm sure pe some people have way worse spending habits, but the McDonald's thing are definitely something I have to get under control. It's just stupid. <laughs> but um, if you guys do have any opinions on this stuff, please let me know. I'd love to hear your opinions, see what I can do. Um, I do 100% spend too much on McDonald's, like I've said three times now, but at least it's not Starbucks. You know, when I'm getting coffee for $1.08 versus 5 or 6 at Starbucks, I'd say that's kind of a win. Not the best, but we're working on it. Anyways, though, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you don't mind leaving a like, hitting subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video, and have a good rest of your week. Bye-bye.